complete tensor concept for centric relation concept. <laughs> what is centric relation to us? Centric relation is tata jibla taru chya matya bajula tachya karun bandakara. And then they call this a physiologic position. <coughs> Try doing this. Is it in any sense a physiologic position? So that is the concept of centric relation that we as clinicians know which is actually wrong. We will appreciate what centric relation is to us today. The next is vertical dimension. This is another concept which is very, very incorrect. To us, complete dentures ke under vertical dimension is record the vertical dimension at rest, subtract 2 millimeters from that, and that is vertical dimension of occlusion of that patient. Correct? Now this is a concept that I will try my best to eliminate from your mind. Okay? In fixed prosthodontics, unfortunately, this concept is not correct. The next aspect that we learn is occlusion. How much is the ideal overjet and overweight? 2 millimeters? Textbooks show anteriors arranged like this. Correct? Upper anterior, lower anterior which is where in fixed prosthodontics we go wrong. Why? Because in fixed prosthodontics, you cannot have space between the anterior teeth in the horizontal dimension. So there is no fixed value to overjet or overbite. All right, so these are aspects that I will try to eliminate from your thought process with respect to complete dentures as against fixed prosthetic full mouth rehabilitation. Two aspects where, yes, complete denture information and knowledge that we have will help us is, first is phonetics. The F, the V, the S, the S and DT. Yes, those do apply. Also, what applies is the aesthetic principle. Because anterior aesthetics in complete dentures is similar. I wouldn't say the same, but is similar to what we follow in fixed prosthodontics. So let's address all of these individually as we move forward through the session. Let's start with a small little video demonstration. I've decided graduation ke baad mein jaunga is college mein. Let's stay away from what is called as the herd mentality. And what I'm going to try to do through these two or three days that we spend time together is help you understand, use your knowledge, and start solving cases individually rather than have, have one custom treatment plan and start treating every patient as the same. All right? Now I introduce to you the topic which is when, what, why, and how of full mouth rehabilitation, all right? To begin with, a couple of requests. First is let's keep our cell phones on silent mode so that we're not disturbed uh, because of the ringing through the session. Uh, if, however, you have a doubt, the smallest bit of doubt, please no doubt or no question is stupid. If it's a question, it is a question, let's have it answered. I am not one of those speakers who gets disturbed through the flow of the course if a question is asked in the middle. You have a doubt, please raise your hand, a mic will be given to you, and please have that doubt cleared. There's a possibility that same doubt is in someone else's mind also. So you might actually be helping someone else. If there is no doubt, next slide Your mind will be stuck in that doubt. You will lose track of that next slide and the slides after that. And later you might land up forgetting the question also. All right, so sincere request, have a doubt, raise your hand, Let's have it addressed immediately. All right. And the second is a sincere request that there be absolutely no photo documentation of the uh, entire course. Right. So, ardent believer of one thing. We have participants who mentioned that I need to learn how to diagnose a problem. In order to diagnose a problem, in order to diagnose something as wrong, most important is to know what is right. Because unless you know what is right, you will never know what is wrong with that right. Alright, so let's